What's up? I'm Tony Bennett, and this is Roll Your Own. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Roll Your Own, the series. Throughout our show, we're going to teach you everything you need to know about growing Maine medical marijuana. From seed to harvest, from your closet to a warehouse, and everything in between. But don't forget, first you need to get certified. And you can do that right here at the Relief Clinic in Auburn, Maine. We're here at the Relief Clinic in Auburn, Maine, and we're talking with Evelyn, and she's going to help us uh, find out exactly what you got to do to get your Maine Cannabis Certification Card. So what are we going to do, Evelyn? Well, first of all, I will ask you for a Maine State ID or a, a license. Sure. And then uh, we would take your payment at the beginning. Absolutely. And we also offer for patients, if they don't have the money right up front, a payment plan. Nice. Of course, you don't get qualified until we have the final payment of yours. Yeah. We also offer a vet discount of 10%. Beautiful. Uh, we also offer home visits. Wow. And confidential visits. So in case you want to stay anonymous, we also offer that. Like, for example, after our hours. Oh, that is huge. That's huge. Um, and then, of course, we will need your medical records. Sure, sure. Um, for, if for some reason, like you haven't gotten them yet from your doctor, then we will have you sign a release form and we will get them for you. Nice, very nice. And then, of course, you will have to fill out the paperwork. Well, all right, let's take a look at that and see what that pertains to. So when you're ready to fill out the paperwork, we have three different forms. Form one will explain your medications and we will take a brief PTSD questionnaire and then we will ask you questions such as you smoke or exercise. We will also ask you what you have used in the past, like for different kind of drugs. And then we will ask you exactly like what kind of things you feel, for example, if you have hearing loss or heartburn or nausea, what kind of cramps you have. And then additionally, we just have a form that we need for the office where we find out your information, your address and we will have you sign a consent form and also initial uh, that you understand different laws that we have written down and then additionally depending on what you come in for we have a PTSD form we have one for the civilians and one for military we will also have you fill out a brief pain inventory if you're here for pain or muscle spasm and then we also have a form that you will fill out if in case you have nausea and those are the different qualifications that you're coming in for. So exactly what would I have to do to get qualified here? I mean, what do I have to go through? I see you've got a list here. Yep. State of Maine qualifying conditions for medical cannabis include cancer, glycoma, HIV or AIDS, hepatitis C, ALS disease, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, nail patella syndrome, intractable pain, cachexia or wasting syndrome, severe nausea, seizures, and severe muscle spasms. So for example, if a patient comes in here and comes in to and asks, can I qualify for anxiety, we will tell them that they can't, but often patients with anxiety have severe nausea. So right. we can't qualify you for the anxiety, but we can qualify you. So for they might not, they might qualify and not think they're going to. They need to come in here and find out on their, you know, whether they can. Yep. Don't sit Correct. home and wonder. Come That's in and right. you're probably going to be all set. Yep. I love how relaxed it is in here. Most doctor offices, when you come in, this has such a beautiful smell in here. It's very pleasant. It Thank doesn't you. smell like a doctor's office. You've got snacks, coffee machines free drinks, sodas, waters. They can come in here, they can get certified, and they can find a pick a caregiver that fits their needs. Correct. Beautiful. Yeah. While you're enjoying your snacks and fill out your paperwork, just let me know when you're done, okay? Thank you, hon. Tony Bennett. Hello, hon. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, my name's Rachel. I'm going to be taking your 
Vital, if you want to follow me. Show on. Thank All you. All right, perfect. How's your blood pressure normally? Any problems? Usually it's pretty good, but pretty good? we'll see you in a minute, I guess. All right, perfect, <laughs> perfect. All right, and you can set your arm right down for me. Your index finger on this side. Whoops. All right, this checks your oxygen okay. level. Start this, try not to move that arm. This goes right in your ear and takes your temperature. All right. All righty. A lot better than the old way. Oh, yeah. 97.8. That awful thick E is. <laughs> <laughs> 98 is your oxygen level. Is that good or bad? That's huh? good. But overall, everything looks pretty good. Do you have any questions for me before you see our physician? I don't, hun. I think that's it. Perfect. All, All right. right. Well, it was very nice meeting you. You too, hun. Hi, Dr. Love. I have Tony Bennett here to see you. Hey, old boy. How you doing? Good morning. Morning. I had a chance to look at your medical records. Yeah. I understand you're coming in here for chronic pain. Exactly. Uh, this is a recertification. Uh, and how have you been finding the medical cannabis working for you? It's been working really good for me. A lot better than the opiates I was on for years. Oh, very good. We, we hear that a lot. Um, so no problems with the strains? No, nothing at all. I've, I've had very good strains, as a matter of fact. Very good. And uh, your ingestion method? Uh, I, I mostly smoke it, but I do eat it as well. I, may, I have some butters, and, but mostly I, I mostly smoke. You try and promote ingestion without smoking? Yeah, I know. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to switch over to a lot more edibles. And sometimes the topicals just work great. Yeah, yeah, I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. Did you have any other medical problems? Uh, I guess I got a laundry list. Be <laughs> <laughs> honest begin. with you. Yeah, I've I've got a, I've got a lot of chronic pain. Um, lower back mostly, mostly in the lower back. Uh, broke my ankles several times, so they give me a lot of trouble. Any hardware remaining? Uh, no, I've got no steel or no metal in me. You we were talking about your, your medication, but right now you're pretty much uh, cannabis and occasional Aleve. Yeah, cannabis uh, daily and Aleve once, maybe twice a week. Okay, in the past you said you were at, uh, Heavily medicated on opiates? Yeah, the, uh, for, for 27 years I was on Percocet, um, Valium, Morphine, uh, all at the same time. Okay, how many Percocets were you eating every day? At the beginning I was on eight a day. And then on the Valiums I had two 10 milligram Valiums a day and the 30 milligram. Um, Morphines, I was on four of them a day. Uh, a little concerned about the Percocet history, in that they have built in Tylenol. Yeah, well the thing is... Tylenol is can be toxic for your liver. The first 20 years I was on eight a day. The last seven or eight years I was on 16 a day. And then finally my stomach was getting so bad I was having trouble going to the bathroom. I was running into other complications and I started weaning myself off. Decided I was going to go for my medical marijuana card. My doctor heard that, told me, bring in all your scripts. We're going to discontinue your treatment with your pills. I chucked him a, a pillowcase half full of vials of pills. I'd already weaned myself off. He didn't know it. I'd been working on it for a year. I'd been totally off for over three months. I chucked hundreds of pills back at him, told him he could have them, and I've been on the medical sense. I don't have none of them other problems anymore that I was having with all of them. I mean, I was drooling on myself. I was a walking zombie, and they give me a license to drive. Yeah. The, the, the 16 Percocet a day, it's good that you're off it. Because at that level of uh, cinnamonifin, it, it can become toxic for your liver. We'll see you in about six months. Just right, sort of quick follow up, soon if there's any, uh, any new problems. Yeah. Thanks for right, squeezing sir. me in. I appreciate it. Very well. Thank, thank you very much. And congratulations, you got certified. Thank you, Han. And here's your certification. The one that says certification is the one that you need to keep on you at all times so that you're legal. Okay. The one that says designation is the one that goes either to a caregiver or a dispensary. 
before we are going at home you said when it needs to be placed for your plants. It was great to have you as a patient. Uh, it was great coming here. What a great experience. Thank, this is the best doctor's visit I've ever had. <laughs> Thanks no again, hon. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you guys in six months. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, we're just wrapping up here. We just got our card renewed. If you're in the market for your medical cannabis card, then you need to come down here in Auburn at the Relief Clinic. They're real easy to find. They're right out behind Sam's in Auburn, Sam's Italian Restaurant. Really good people, really good experience.